What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raiga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Aries sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of March 21st and April 19th then you are an Aries sun sign and this video is for you. Today we're going to be doing a new moon reading. The new moon is occurring on November 18th. It's going to be in Scorpio and the new moon is a time for creation, for manifestation, for setting new intentions and I wanted to do a spread for you guys that would help maximize this time. I'll let you know what to focus on, what not to focus on, and how to uh, create and manifest in the best possible way with the highest good in mind. So that's what this reading is going to be about. Uh, we're going to be using the Tarot Mucha. I really like this tarot deck. It's got beautiful colors and pictures. If you haven't seen it before, you're going to love it. Uh, before we go any further, I would like to mention that this is a general overall reading that uh, applies to a large group of people, so not everything will apply to you. But if you do want a specific t reading that's tailored just for you, where I tap into your energies, then head on over to my Etsy shop. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below, and you can just click on that, get sent over there, and peruse the different readings that I offer so that we can get down to the bottom of any issue that you may have. So I'd appreciate that. And I'd appreciate if you give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards the question, what are the energies surrounding airy sun signs at the time of this new moon? Alright, that should do it. We will cut the deck. And this spread is five cards. All right, while we're at it, we're going to consult the Nature's Whispers Oracle. We're going to ask it what message it has for Aries sun signs at the time of this new moon. What message for Aries sun signs at the time of this new moon? We'll set this card to the side and look at it at the end, as I do with all my Oracle cards. All right, Aries friends, what we're going to do is we're going to look at these cards individually and then see what they have to say as a whole. The first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents where you're at in your life at this time right now. We've got the King of Swords. All right, Aries friends, the feeling I'm getting from this card is that... Um, you're feeling communicative at this time. You're feeling expressive. And you're doing it in a controlled manner. I don't know how else to describe that. Okay, when I, when I see the King of Swords, and what I'm feeling from this card right now is somebody... Gender doesn't have a role to play. Uh, whatever gender you are. But somebody who's very confident with the way they communicate. Very confident with their uh, thoughts and are not really having too many errant thoughts that, or errant you know communications <laughs> you know they're very controlled they know what they're saying they know what they're thinking and um it's just a very um a mature way of communicating so i get the feeling that you guys are feeling pretty expressive at this time and you're expressing yourself very efficiently and i, I think that's a great thing so that's what i'm getting for you guys right now remember this is a general reading and not everything applies to everybody so uh what i ask of you is to look at these cards and hear what i say and then figure out how they kind of apply to your life and what you're going through at this time so yes king of swords energy very efficient communication basically this card here represents what's blocking your growth at this time. And we've got another court card. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Huh. Uh, I'm getting something uh, about another person here. Someone who, again, gender not really related, but someone who's a little bit more grounded than you are at the moment. And they're kind of getting in your way a little bit. Um, okay, I'm getting two things. I'm getting that, first of all. Um, someone who who's in your life, it could possibly be a woman. This could be a, an employer. This could be 
a family member, but someone who's very well grounded, kind of focused on money, perhaps, or at least focusing on acquisition, focusing on materialism. And are they drawing you towards materialism when you don't necessarily want to be? Uh, so kind of having a negative influence on you at this time, maybe, you know, an employer who wants you to work more hours than you're comfortable working, um, possibly, uh, but someone whose intentions aren't exactly, you know, negative towards you. They're just a bad influence, maybe, um, without realizing it. Uh, the other thing I'm getting from this card is this could possibly uh, pertain to you. And maybe you are the one who's being a little bit too materialistic at this time. Maybe you're the one who's being uh, putting a little bit too much focus and energy on the material aspect of the world around us. And so money, uh, possessions, um, you know, trying so hard to establish a, a secure life that you kind of forget about your emotions. You forget about your intuition. So uh, how does that card pertain to you? Which one of those two? Uh, whichever way it is, it, it is a blockage. It is something that you need to change because um, I, I do see some imbalance here. You know, if you're going too far into the world of materialism, um, that's obviously a negative thing. But you do want to have some uh, focus on that or else you're going to be starving in the cold, right? So definitely there, there needs to be a fine line there. So uh, figure out, you know, how you can fix that. And that's what some of these other cards we'll talk about. So let's move on over here. This card represents uh, the intentions that you should set for this new moon phase, new moon cycle. And oh my, exactly. We got the five of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that perhaps some of you are feeling that drive to acquire a little bit too much like i just said and the five of pentacles basically is telling me that you need to set the intent of abundance coming your way set the intent of achieving everything you want to achieve as far as the material world is concerned uh, the universe is ready to work with you in that respect it's, the universe wants you to be happy it wants you to have everything that you want to have uh, but you got to set that intent and you can't just do it subconsciously or, you know, not very consciously. You have to uh, be aware that you're going in that direction. You have to state your intention to the universe. And I think now in well November 18th, uh, around that time, will be a great time for you to uh, set your goals of, you know, your money goals, your whatever it is, you know, whatever pentacle energy you're into, okay? So pentacles represent diets, possibly. They represent nature. They represent money. Anything you can touch, basically. Uh, so um, this uh, November 18th, uh, set your intention for abundance. So for set your intention for, you know, all the things that you think will make you happy, possession-wise, coming to you. And uh, the universe will work with you on that. All right, this card here represents the knowledge that, are, that is needed to aid your intentions, what you need to know in order to make this intention work. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Ah, so to me, this card is saying, if you want all the things that you desire, you're going to have to really feel it emotionally. You have to emotionally want these things. Uh, in order for manifestation to occur, there has to be an extreme desire. And, you know, that's tied in with emotions. And that's something that you have to realize. You can't just say, oh, you know, I want a lot of money because it will uh, allow me to buy things, right? I don't think the universe is necessarily going to help you with that. But if you say, I want money because I love money and I love using it to spend things that make me happy and I really enjoy giving to people and having enough so that I can share with others. If you feel it emotionally, then the universe is going to respond. If you're just doing it because you think you need it or, you, you know, or society tells you that you want it, then it's not necessarily going to come. But if you feel it emotionally and if you allow those emotions to spill out into the universe, the universe will say, wow, this person really does desire this thing. Let's work together to, to create it. So uh, as far as creating abundance, there needs to be some emotional backing behind it. You have to feel it. You have to want it. You have to truly want it. And then, then it will come to you. Then and only then, okay? So this card here represents uh, what positive energy will emerge as a result of this new moon phase. And we've got the three of wands. The feeling I'm getting from this card is that, you know, if you set that intent, 
for bringing an abundance and you know that abundance comes i think what's going to happen is that you're going to see new possibilities emerge you're going to start to see the future in a brighter way your your future will seem brighter because now that you've got everything you want now the the possibilities have expanded and you know you have the money necessary to do more things and i think uh Part of this is, you know, literally true. You know, the more money that you have, the more things you can do. But also, it's about what's occurring in your mind, in your, in your, in your emotions. Um, once you get the need for abundance out of the way, out of your energetic sphere, then uh, things are going to open up, and that's going to open up new things because you know you're. That's a survival mode, right? You're in survival mode. I need money. I need food. I need shelter. I need clothing. I need it, need it, need it. But once that need is taken care of, now all of a sudden there's room in you to expand the possibilities and uh, expand your horizons and look to the future. Look to the horizon as this person is doing uh, with optimistic eyes where anything is possible. You can accomplish anything. So looking at this uh, spread as a whole now, I think the King of Swords is... A little bit more telling now that I've seen the rest of the cards where I get the feeling that a lot of you right now are really thinking about um, abundance and you're thinking about security and you're thinking about wealth and nothing wrong with that if that's where your focus should be right now if you feel like that's where it should be that's fine there's no problem with that but as long as you're staying balanced um, I do see like uh, maybe an over emphasis in the need and desire for this money or for these uh, acquisitions or whatever it is possibly blocking you uh, again this could be an employer or someone who's demanding or asking or rubbing off on you in a way that makes you go off into that direction um, but the intent that you need to set this month this november 18th is to bring that abundance to you get rid of that feeling of lack no, instead of creating from a feeling of lack create from a feeling of abundance be grateful for everything that you already have ask for more of it and then it will come but you have to first make sure that it's something that you feel emotionally it's not going to come if you're not emotional about it you have to inject emotion into this manifestation process or else it's not going to work very well so really feel it and make sure that's another it's like a checks and balances if you don't feel it emotionally uh that just tells the universe that it's not supposed to be so it's like uh like a checks and balance system for your manifestation process it's not going to give you anything that you don't truly want or desire or need and so if you want to have that come to you you have to feel it and as a result of all that possibilities are going to open up new horizons are going to be explored and it's going to seem like any the world is your oyster anything can happen you can do and accomplish anything you want to so very positive outcome from this uh, process here so i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about that and how your month goes so uh, before we go here we asked the nature's whispers oracle what message it had for aries sun signs this new moon cycle and we've got amplify your positive emotions just exactly what i was saying um instead of saying oh i lack this i so i want abundance you have to say you have to amplify your positive emotions and say i am already abundant i would like more abundance and really feel that and just like the ripples in a pond it's going to extend outward and the, it's going to you know amplify as it goes outward and the universe is going to really feel it as well and when the universe feels it it's going to conspire to help you and it's going to bring it to you but uh in order to amplify those vibes you have to inject emotion i love when the oracle cards just validate everything i've just said <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful i love the artwork and i think the message is pretty clear here aries friends so that is the uh new moon reading for you guys remember november 18th um and uh what was i gonna say no i think that was it i think that's it i uh, remember this is a general overall reading not everything applies to you and uh like i said if you want a specific reading tailored just for you head on over to my etsy shop link in the description down below a variety of different readings that we can use to get to the bottom of your issue so i'd appreciate it if you go check that out thank you uh if you like this video please consider hitting that like button it lets me know that you enjoyed it and got something out of it so i'd appreciate that if you have any questions comments or concerns put those in the comment section below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings and uh, if you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I release these telescope type videos bi-monthly. Also do weekly readings. Also do deck reviews and um, 
uh, tarot spreads, all sorts of different things you don't want to miss out on. So hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. All right, Aries friends, set that intention. Use emotion to back it and the, the universe will respond. All right. So I hope you guys have a great month. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.